is another Jubal phone tap. And weekday mornings on the 20s. Only on Moving 92.5. Hi, thank you for calling the restaurant. This is Tori speaking. How may I help you? Hi, Tori. How are you? I was wondering if I could speak with a manager. Yes, I'm the manager. How may I help you? <laughs> they got you answering phones today, huh? <laughs> Yeah, we're kind of busy today. Oh, okay. Yeah, because normally the manager doesn't pick up every time. That's cool. Lucky you. <laughs> Lucky me. The reason I wanted to speak to you is that I've been dating my girlfriend off and on <laughs> for about three years, and I would like to get your permission to propose in your restaurant on Friday night. Oh, of course. We would love to have you. Congratulations. Well, thank you very much. I'm excited, a bit nervous, and kind of... You know that feeling where you, you feel kind of like you have to poo? Uh, yeah, I think I know what you mean. Yeah. Well, how could we make this special for you? You can make it special if you can get her to say yes. <laughs> you know? <laughs> I'm sure she'll say yes. You sound like a nice guy. Well, thanks for saying that. But the yes has been the toughest part of this whole thing for me so far. Over the past 13 months, I've proposed to her 10 times. Each and every time, she throws a big fat no in my face. So. Oh, no. Fingers crossed for a yes here. <laughs> uh, if you don't mind me asking, what have you tried before? Well, I've tried it at a rock concert before. That was a tough one because I was trying to scream over a guitar solo. You didn't even hear me. Yeah, I mean, it sounds like it would be kind of hard to do. Yeah, that was a toughie. And then another time I got down on one knee at her sister's wedding right before the bride and groom said I do. And then everybody's like, oh, bad timing. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah. I'm so sorry, sir. So, uh, anyway, this bonehead wants to try it again, and I want it to work this time. So, just a simple, romantic, normal proposal at your restaurant. Okay, yes. Simple, romantic. Mm -hmm. That's exactly what you should do. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, do you guys have a re reservation already? Well, yeah, there is a reservation. It's under a different name, though. It's under the name Roy, and I think it's seven, if you want to check that. Um, uh, wait. Why is it under a different name? <laughs> Uh, well, it's kind of a funny story. So after all my proposals went wrong so many times, she got fed up and then broke it off with me. Just You're not Roy? Nope. Nope. Roy is the other guy that she's seeing now, but I am no quitter. Oh my, um. So I plan to propose at the table with her and I want Roy to see it. You know, when she says yes, I just want to get up and gloat right in his face. Just take that, Roy. <laughs> So all I'm going to need from you is just a waiter's outfit to borrow and maybe a mask so she'll be surprised, and I will handle the rest. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to allow you to propose in our restaurant if it's not your girlfriend. Uh, well, she was my girlfriend. I'm just sort of trying to win her back. I know. We're kind of a drama-free zone, unfortunately. Um, <laughs> well, good luck having her and Roy there. That guy's all drama. This, this is not going to work. I apologize. You know what? I'm going to have to respectfully disagree with you because I've watched a lot of romantic comedies in the last few weeks. And these things work if you just shock them with a grand gesture and take them by surprise. So if I come up to the table, they think I'm going to be a waiter. Then I pull off a mask and I'm like, suck it, Roy. Marry me, Bridget. Sir, I will not allow that at my restaurant. All right. You've been heard. And I, uh, I'm sorry. It sounds like I've screwed this one up, too. So any chance you can poison Roy for me? Okay, yeah, I know this has gone way too far. Um, that's a no. That's a no. That's an absolute Got it. no. And if you do come to my restaurant, I'm going to have to get security. Oh, no, 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 no. That's fine. Noted, noted. Uh, before I go, I, I just have one question for you. Are you single? Excuse me? I'd be lying if I didn't tell you that in the last few minutes. I, I think I'm starting to fall for you, and I'd like to ask for your hand in marriage. Will you marry me? Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm done. This, this conversation has ended. What was your name again? Tori? Tori, will you marry me? Look, the answer is no. You're obviously a creep. Oh. I've been trying to be nice, oh. and honestly, I think the other woman in your life, she's ran for the hills for a reason. So. Okay, well, actually, before you go, can I tell you it's a prank phone call? I'm sorry. What? Yeah, this is actually Jubal from Brook and Jubal in the morning doing a phone tap on you, and your coworkers Jenna and Seth set you up. You No, you're joking. Yeah. No, yes. Oh, no, yes. Am I? No. What? Yes. Jana and Seth? Yeah, they said that you've been under a lot of pressure at work and wanted to mess with you. So. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> so, yeah, no, I'm not proposing to you or anybody. And if I don't want to poison Roy either. <laughs> oh, my God. I thought I was going to have to alert security. Well, I still might come in, so you still might have to alert him. But I'm not interested in proposing. <laughs>